of Weber State and uh, has gone on to become one of the elite guards in the NBA. And we have his head coach, Terry Stotts, joining us right now from the Portland Trailblazers. Terry, you guys are pretty set in the backcourt with McCollum and, and uh, uh, Dame Dollar, uh, Damian Lillard. But what kind of opportunities do you see for your team moving forward? Uh, you've got Nurkic in the middle. Tell us about your wing situation. Well, you know, uh, the roster right now is pretty much what we had at the end of the year outside right. of our draft pick. So uh, we're looking to build on what we did at the end of the year. We we had a very good run after the All-Star break. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic came in, had an impact. Certainly Damian carried the load the last half of the season. But, uh, you know, we have to grow from within. We, we signed our free agents last year. This year we've been out of the free agent market. So, you know, the plan is to develop our young guys, which is what we've done the last two years. Jake Lehman, one of those young guys out here, uh, putting in a lot of work over the summer. What do you make of what you've seen of his uh, player development? Well, he's put in a lot of time. There's no question. He's uh, he's getting up a thousand, over a thousand shots every day. And you know, I know he's disappointed. The shots haven't been really uh, dropped yet in this summer league. But you know, he he's a very athletic forward. Uh, I think in time he'll become he'll add some versatility to his game. But uh, he has a, he's a great shooter. He has an opportunity to be a great shooter in this league and with his athleticism You know, you just want to build on it. last year was a learning year for him didn't get a lot of playing time And so that's what the you'd like to see the fruits of all the work that he's put in uh, Kind of show here in the summer league a lot of people feel you got a steal in Swanigan at 26 You know, I'm uh, I'm really pleased with both guys that we got but you know, Caleb Caleb is a winner. Uh, you know, I got a message from his coach at Purdue. He's a winner. He's all about winning uh, he has an unbelievable work ethic. Obviously, uh, a lot of people are familiar with his story and the work that he put in to get to the point where he is now. But, you know, he is uh, he is a competitor, like I said, with both those guys, with him and, and Zach. But uh, he knows how to win. He carried the team. Uh, and he knows how hard work pays off. Terry, talk about uh, two of your roster players who dealt with some injuries at the end of the year, Eddie Davis and Yusuf Nurkic. How are they coming along? You know, they're both they're both good. Uh, Nurk uh, rehab, which was basically resting, and so his foot's fine. He's been going through some good workouts uh, in Portland and in Bosnia, so that's very positive. And then uh, Ed Davis had shoulder surgery, and by all accounts, he's uh, he's doing very well. He's he's running. He's able to do basketball activities. So uh, it'll be good to have those guys back in the fold. Yeah, you know, obviously those guys have already shown t to a, a large extent what they're capable of. Uh, big year coming up uh, for Myers Leonard, no? Well, it, it's for everybody. But you know, Myers uh, had a little up and down year last year. I, unfortunately, a lot of when you're a shooter, a lot of what people define as good and bad is how you shoot the ball. Yeah, exactly. uh, but you know, he is a he's a unique player. He's a unique player where uh, he can he can guard big guys. He can space the four. He can shoot threes. He's putting in a lot of good work in L.A. I think he spent the summer in L.A. He's got a guy that he's working with. Uh, he's going from uh, individuals to uh, some one on one work and then he's going to play some basketball. And I'm really looking forward to him playing games uh, in L.A. this summer. I think that's really important. Uh, I think we've lost touch in some ways with actually getting out there and playing. Everybody likes going through <laughs> drills and one on no. You know, playing game, uh, playing the game is important. It certainly is. When we talked, you know, you talked with Jonesy a little bit about Caleb. Zach Collins, what have you seen so far from the, the young guy out of Gonzaga? Well, probably what we expected. You know, he's a he's a terrific young kid. He he's very aggressive. He's a competitor. Uh, I think the strength will, will come obviously uh, in the first game. Uh, you know, he wasn't as strong as he needs to be, but he's 19, and that's going to come. But he has he has a great sense for the game. He has a great sense for the game. He can pass. He can shoot. He runs the floor. He's athletic. He contests every shot. Uh, he has probably one of the better feels defensively for a big guy coming into this league. I think that's always a challenge. And from what I saw yesterday, he has a good feel for it defensively. So I'm really not concerned about his offense. That's going to come because he's too skilled for, not for it to come. You know, people with all the talk, all the different teams that have reloaded, you know, people forget what you've accomplished the last couple of years and the injuries you've, you know, you've had to deal with. 
uh, winning 41 last year, a healthy Nurkic. We get Eddie Davis back. These young guys, there still could be some playing time for these youngs for Caleb and Zach this year. Well, front court. you know, as a coach, you don't talk about playing time in the <laughs> summer. Come on now. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's about opportunity, and uh, it's hard to predict what's what's going to happen in the future. But like all young guys, they have to be ready when the opportunity comes. Until that opportunity comes, they have to work their butts off. So uh, we've been very fortunate with. Uh, you look at the opportunity that C.J. McCollum had and A.C. Uh, Allen Crabb had in their first two years, not much. But then the opportunity came and they both took advantage of it. So, uh, you know, I'm a little reluctant to talk about playing time in the summer, but I do know this, that they both will, they're both going to compete. They're both going to get better. And it's just when that time comes, they need to be ready for it. Hey, Terry, what do you make of uh, this landscape in the Western Conference? Big picture wise has, has really had some seismic shifts when you look at what happened with the Clippers and uh, you know the Minnesota Timberwolves have been a major mi mover and shaker. Well it's uh, you know with some of the movement obviously and, uh, some of the marquee guys coming to the West obviously the West was tough last year it's been tough for a while but uh, you know you got to play the schedule and uh, the one thing that we want to do is get off to a better start in November and December because they're not going to be, they're never any easy nights in the NBA, but, uh, you know, a lot's going to be determined for playoff positioning is how you compete against the games that you uh, have a better advantage of winning and not, and you can't take a night off because uh, it's, it's just going to be too tough. I know you're looking forward to scouting Paul George a few more times, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, um, he's a good player. And Jimmy well, Butler. Well, it could be, and mean, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> you know, talking about getting off to a good start, you know, everybody's pointing out, well, look, the, the roster hasn't changed that much except for these young guys well guess what that's an advantage when you got a lot of people coming back from last year particularly a, a healthy Yusuf Nurkic you were so good when he played we get Eddie back in the lineup you yeah. have, you could have some reasonable expectations to get off to a good start as opposed to some of these teams where their rosters have really changed well that's a good point because the previous year uh, we finished the season really strong and we ended up winning 44 and into the second round I think we kind of felt into uh, May, I don't want to say complacency, but we didn't realize how hard it was to do what we did in the previous year. And then we got off to another slow start, even having everybody come back. So with that as a, as a teaching tool, hopefully we can use that to understand our mentality coming into the first part of the season. Great. All right, Terry Stotts, the head coach of the Portland Trailblazers. His team taking on the Celtics here down by seven. It was 6.20 to go in the... First half of play, Pat Connaughton inbounds to Lehman, who's back in the game. How strange is it to be on the sidelines in free agency this year? Like you said, you guys spent a lot of money last year, a lot of financial commitment. Well, last year was our opportunity to do that. You know, we had, uh, uh, we wouldn't have had that same opportunity this year. Last year was our opportunity to get into free agency, and, you know, we used it, and, and we were pleased with it. So now this year, uh, you know, Neil O'Shea has done an outstanding job since he's come to Portland in a variety of ways, whether it's the draft trades and free agency. So, uh, you know, we'll see what we'll see what the roster is at the beginning of the season. But uh, I can't say enough uh, for the job that Neil has done. Terry, great seeing you. Thanks for joining us. Always good seeing you guys. Good luck, T. All right.